Hi, and welcome. So my guest today is Deanna, and welcome back, Deanna. Thank you, Neha. It's great to be back. <laughs> awesome. And we had been talking, you had been asking around about how to get um, from being in your head so much and thinking so much to being in your heart. Like, how does one do that? And so we had discussed, um, you know, that you do that through being playful, you do that through uh, kind of taking some risks and not knowing how it's going to turn out. Um, so tell me, uh, did you... Did you take did you take me up on that challenge? <laughs> I, did. I did. All right. I want to hear what you did and and uh, what you're experiencing and how it's going. Okay. Well, so to begin with, I I went out and I bought um, this Xbox game called Just Dance, mm -hmm. thinking because I love to dance and I thought, well, that would be really fun and but when I, I guess what I bought and what I needed was way too technologically um, <laughs> complicated for me and for my kids, which tells you, they were like, mom, just forget it. <laughs> you need all this apparatus that you don't have. And um, so I was really bummed, but it's like, all right, well, I'll just have to figure something else out. So um, I, in that same vein, I happened to be at a, uh, a conference, a mind-body conference, and we pair off into, or break up into these groups. And one of the women, so during one of our breaks, we were talking about, you know, just different things. And one of the women in the group mentioned how she and her friend have this sort of pact that when things get really serious, they say, okay, time out, 30 second dance break. And they just dance <laughs> in the moment. They don't need any technology and they don't need any equipment. They just got their bodies. Exactly. Uh -huh. so done, I said, that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. So when I came home from the conference one night after dinner, I said to my boys and my husband, I'm like, okay, 30 second dance break. So I put on some music and we all started dancing. So it's been something that we've been doing periodically. Um, and it's been really fun, actually. Um, my, my younger son is sort of a ham, and he, he knows all the latest and greatest dances, so he's been teaching me how to floss and how to do all these crazy <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm imagining this. It's so good. And how old are your sons? Uh, almost 21 and 18. Oh, fun stuff. Yes. Yeah. And so you're actually realizing that it's, not just fun, it's like you're connecting to them on a different level. Yes. Absolutely. You know, when, you, when you're in your head, it's about what school do you want to go to and how's your homework and what time are you coming home tonight and all these kinds of rules and intellectual type things. And the truth is there's different levels that we can connect with people. And when you connect from a different level, not just from your head, but also from your heart, uh, it becomes a lot more fun. Did you feel silly at first? Like, did, was it hard to kind of get out of your head and not worry about what other people are thinking about how you're dancing and all that? Well, you know, the funny thing was is that I found some music from like the 60s and 70s that my parents used to play when we were kids. And it just brought me back to that mm. you know, time in my life when I was a kid. And so as soon as the music went on, I was back there and I was that, you know, playful, you know, fun loving, carefree kid that didn't care. And um, it was actually funny because one night when my parents were over for dinner, I said, you got to listen to this. And I put it on. And so we started dancing and, you know, my mother's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I haven't heard that song in forever. And um, yeah, so it's been, it's been really fun. Wow. It's interesting, you know, music obviously can bring you back in time and, and, sort of, you know, that really allowed me to get out of my head and just be back to that place of just fun and playfulness. It's almost, Deanna, it's freedom. Absolutely. It's freedom. It's like what you're describing. And when in your life do you remember forgetting that young girl, that young carefree girl, and kind of taking all your energy and like moving it up to your head and thinking that like this is where I perform from? 
Well, you know, I, I think it had to be going to school and then being successful there and seeing getting accolades, getting accolades from the outside world yeah. for doing well in school. Right. And and my dad always since I was, you know, this high saying to me, be a professional, be a professional, be a professional, you know, don't ever have to rely on anybody to, you know, support you. And um, so, you know, I got a lot of messages that brought me here. <laughs> yeah. And it's really interesting too, right? Because it is important to be able to be independent and support yourself. And th those are strengths. And when strength is overused, it becomes a weakness. It takes away, you can be responsible and independent and take care of yourself. And then when it, you are so much so that it is the, at the expense of your own joy and play in life, that's when we got to reevaluate what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is such a pleasure to follow up and, and hear how it's going. And uh, so y you want to show us your favorite dance move or like... <laughs> You want to show us how to floss? <laughs> I haven't quite got it yet. Um, it's a little bit complicated for me. Um, well, I have to put the music on, which uh, I mean, it's so funny because I said to myself, I should plan to put the music on. And then I got so wrapped up in making sure I was, you know, getting this all the technology right that I forgot about my music. But Because um, you were in your head. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, and uh, Deanna, and for all of those of you out there who know that sometimes you spend a little too much time in your head, uh, and it's time to move into your heart, Deanna's unlocked the secret that did not require an Xbox and a million pieces of technology. Um, I'm pretty sure that fun and play are inside you, and they're probably in your heart. So see what you can do to uh, the challenge this week would be to see what you can do to bring a little more play and fun and risk taking in your life, but make sure that it's uh, joyful. So thanks, Deanna. Thanks so much for the follow-up. It's uh, always so exciting to hear how it changes things. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah.